Hello, hello. You're watching this part of the video. You're watching the replay. So make sure to use hashtag replay so I can thank you so, so much for watching. If you want to be notified anytime that I go live, all you have to do, press down on my face, hit follow, ring the bell. And if another brand ambassador shared this video with you, please make sure you go back and you shop with her. For those of you new here, welcome. My name is Katie. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, and I work full time. I love makeup and skincare, and I truly believe Every single woman wants to look and feel her best and I have the tools and the resources to help you get there. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my Valentine's Day lip look. Now, I know my hair is being super crazy today. I will go ahead and out. I will tell you this on my eyes. I am wearing the stick eyeshadow and gleaming. I absolutely love this gorgeous metallic. I don't have any mascara on yet. I need to put some on. But I love this gorgeous metallic for the lid. I think it just really helps to brighten up the eye look. And especially if you're doing a more bold lip look like what we are doing today, it's a great balance for, you know, the eyes and the lips. All right, so let's get into this Valentine's Day lip look. The first thing that I'm going to do before I do any kind of a dramatic lip look is I use my lip scrub. This is great at getting rid of all of those dead skin cells on the lips that can cause your lip color to wear unevenly. So if you are not using a lip scrub, I highly recommend checking out the unique one. I have used different brands of lip scrub and I will tell you the unique one is the best. Not only does it taste amazing, but when it's done, your lips actually feel really, really hydrated and amazing. They don't feel dry. I've used some lip scrubs in the past that really dry out the lips or they don't do the best job of like scrubbing off that dead skin in foundation. What I'm gonna do, just take a damp cloth, kind of wipe that off. And now I can go in with my lip color. Fabulous. Like I said, I love the way it tastes. It's like a sugar scrub. It's amazing. All right. Next up, what we're going to do is we are going to line the lips. So I'm going to be using the lip liner in Polite. This is great at helping to hold your lip color in place on your lips. All right. So I'm just going to go in and you can see this is very, very close. Helps if I can like not talk and line at the same time. This is very close to my natural lip color. So it looks really good. Again, this is the lip liner in Polite. And then I'm gonna go along the bottom. Just like that. All right, and then I'm gonna bring it in a little bit. Just a smidge. All right, so lip line is done. Check, boom. All right. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my splash lipsticks. All right. So this is the all day matte liquid lipstick. All right. I'm going to take this one. It's called Feeling Fuchsia. And I'm going to take that. And I'm going to go right on top of where I line that lip. Now you can see. Because I put that liner down, it's going on so nice and even and staying in place. Holy guacamole, that's way better. The other day I did this and I forgot to put a lip liner on and I literally, I just had lipstick going everywhere. It was a mess. Okay. So just like that, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my lipstick and Naughty Biscotti. This on its own for me is a little bit too light, but I use it to create an ombre effect for all of my lip colors. And it's absolutely beautiful. Got to make sure I have the right one. So I just take it there in the center of the lips and kind of blend that out. All right, so blend, blend, blend. If you like a matte lipstick look, 
you can just do this and call it done. All right. I personally, I like to have a gloss. I like to have more of a sheen to my lip look. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here in just a minute. The first thing I'm going to do, I should have done this before I put on my lip color, take my collagen. This is great at helping to minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, helps with your hair, nail, your skin in general. As you get older, your body produces less on its own. So you need to supplement that. All right. And then the other thing is if you don't have your planner yet for 2024 or you have one and you're not loving it, don't hesitate to get something that you're going to like. All right. I recently switched. Um, well, not switched. I recently created my own planner after spending years using different planners that I didn't love. All right. So I created my own. It's available over on Amazon. If you need the link, you can't find it in the description. Just comment plan and I can send it to you. All right. So what I do to really help give that shine to the lips and also enhance the lips is I use the hottie lip plumper. This one is clear. Somebody asked me the other, the other day, they said, it looks kind of pink. Well, you all have to remember, I'm almost to the end of this one. And I use it on top of all my lip colors. So sometimes what happens is that lip color transfers to the um, applicator and then gets in the tube. It's okay. But what this does, it has a little bit of cayenne pepper and a little bit of peppermint oil in it. So it's going to help bring the blood to the surface of the lips to really help minimize the appearance of those fine lines and plump up the lips. Look at that. And then add shine. So it's absolutely gorgeous. If you have any questions about this Valentine's Day lip look, please don't hesitate to ask. And if you like these types of videos where I share with you in detail a specific look, lip look, let me know that in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. So that way, anytime I go live or I post a new video, you're notified. 